This is Murphy from Word on the Street channel. 50 Cent did an interview with The Breakfast Club today, and he told Charlemagne the god and DJ envy something very interesting. Fifth confirmed that he told Lil Durk to be careful, he told him to watch out for his guys, and Lil Durk told 50, You're actually right, because one of my guys pulled up to my house and I never gave him my address, so how the F did he know where I live? Check out this clip. Conversation with them and be like, I've seen this play before. Yeah. I, I, even with Durk, I was telling him, like I, when I, I had him, he was in New York. We we, we did uh, the uh, power thing. Power, mm -hmm. That's the first and last acting role at this yeah. point, yeah, right but, now. But we did the the uh, not that the acting role when we was doing the theme song for Force, mm -hmm. Got you. or the Chicago version. Yeah. Then like I was like, yo, this is this is them. I did the real shit, right? He's like, yeah, yeah. And I said, yo, just watch him. The his crew. Cause he said that You know what I'm saying And, and it's like I, Like I've always had That energy myself In the middle of everything That was going on I'm not just watching We know Fifth <laughs> <laughs> No that's not I'm always watching But <laughs> wait a minute <laughs> Where was you at Thursday at three? <laughs> If you got pulled over you, And you not in jail why are you not in <laughs> Dan, did you ever have that though? I'm sure you did. Nah, hell yeah. yeah. I've, had, I've had guys look. I had a driver. Mm -hmm. He got, um, he was supposed to go from Vegas to meet me in, in, in Miami. Mm -hmm. And he got, he went in the, the airport with a ham on. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, lawyer called me like 2 o'clock in the morning. He says, You got arrested. This is not. And I go, Oh, I said, Um, he said, it's all right to send a lawyer for him. I said, you ain't gonna need a lawyer, you're gonna need bond. The, the lawyer after that, when you got priors. Mm -hmm. Right? And then he called back and he says, no, no. He said, this is not he made the flight. <laughs> With a gun he in made the, the airport. Flight. <laughs> wow, she <laughs> already got fired. What was his response to you? He said, you know what? He said, somebody just came in my house. How do they know exactly what address is? I don't know my address. Nobody. Like, this is not because. Something that happened The robbery had, in Georgia Yeah When his um, When India had to he shoot He went straight to talking about that mm. Mm. Damn Damn One thing you can give Dirk credit for Is that he's always on point And he's always keeping an eye out On his crew Now everybody is trying to figure out Who exactly in OTF was the snitch Obviously you have all the allegations Fans are currently putting on OTF Jam They're saying after OTF Jam spent 12 years in prison He quickly caught a case that should have put him away for a longer time But Jam did get out of that prison very quickly Which made people to start assuming That it was because he had to wear wire around Lil Durk The reason I told you guys that Durk is actually smarter Than what you guys are giving him credit for Is because Lil Durk already knew 3 years ago To keep an eye out on his OTF members now Lil Durk did an interview with DJ Academics about a year and ago, and he told Academics something very interesting. After Durk went through his home invasion with his girl, Dirk told Academics on the interview that nobody knows his address, so much so that not even his best friend knew where he lived. Check out this clip. But he was hurt, and the suspects fled. Did they, did they run back through the woods? Did they hop in a car? Did they drive, did they drive through and and exit the gated community obviously that's what the cops are going to be investigating who knows where dirk lives how is this a thing i won't say exactly well i won't say near where he lives but he don't live he don't live in chicago he probably has residences there but this wasn't chicago how the fuck do people have a drop on him like that did they ever figure out who was behind that that had to be an inside job like that nigga who clearly I don't let nobody come to us. Nobody. Nobody is ever allowed to my house. It be, it be, our best friend never been to my house. For real? I promise. <laughs> Your best friend? I promise. Like, it's people like that I just don't allow, I just don't allow around my girl and my kids. Because it's like, I don't know. It's like, I'm just a different side. I'm not the. We even have family night at Dirk house tonight. It's the. You say that oh, everybody at got, Dirk's crib. Yeah, yeah we, type shit we gotta, we gotta, everybody getting watched. What do I, watch everybody. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. 
Additionally, always keep it locked in with Word on the Street channel for all of the latest news surrounding Lil Durk and 50 Cent. Finally, stay with us for everything else going on in the world of music and pop culture.